And disturbing new details revealed this morning from police as an outpouring of support continues for Madeline Soto. That's right. The community is honoring her memory days after investigators found her body. Fox 45's Marley Capper joining us live this morning with more. And Marley, good morning to you. We do know the community and loved ones held a memorial for Maddie yesterday. Amy and Danielle, good morning. That's right. So a lot of people showed up for this. Parents, grandparents mostly. Just people who either knew her or didn't even know her, but were just shocked to learn what she had to endure and the tragic ending of her life. People brought balloons and toys, flowers, everything you name it, teddy bears, to a growing memorial on the side of Hickory Tree Road in Osceola County. Maddie's disappearance and now murder has sparked a widespread community support in the quest for justice. Whoever it may be. They need to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. New documents reveal more about what the 13 year old victim might have had to endure. A Kissimmee police arrest affidavit for the prime suspect in Maddie's disappearance, Stephen Stearns. That's Maddie's mother's boyfriend, stating photos and videos recovered from his phone show private body parts of a young victim. The metadata time stamping those images all the way back to August of 2022. Although the victim's identity has been redacted, the birth date isn't, and it matches Soto's birthday, revealing that the victim in this report was just 11 years old when the sexually explicit photos and videos were taken. Now, Stern remains behind bars with no bond. Now, he has been arrested for those pictures and videos, but he has not been charged yet in the disappearance of Maddie or for her murder. Reporting live in Kissimmee, Marley Capper, Fox 35 News. Marley, thank you. New information this morning on the investigation into a crime scene photo that was accidentally posted to the Osceola County Sheriff's Instagram account. We are not airing that image, but it does appear to show Maddie Soto's body on the ground where she was found in St. Cloud. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office sent a new statement to Fox 35. It says, quote, the Sheriff's Office contacted the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to offer our cooperation and transparency into the inadvertent release of an investigative photograph. We understand the community's concerns concerns and we welcome an independent review of what transpired. We did reach out to FDLE for comment. We have not yet heard back.